What's up you guys? Back again today with another video. Getting ready right now, conditions outside are very cold, but John's waiting for me up at Coral Springs. We're gonna do something a little different. Haven't been up to Coral Springs in, I don't know, a couple months to do some fishing. So the idea today is to chase snakeheads, chase some largemouth bass, chase some peacock bass, and just try to have a good time. But it is gonna be a little tough. There's rain in the forecast, there's really cold weather, a lot of wind, so stay tuned. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get on some fish, but it could be a little noisy while we're out there but I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna enjoy the video, so I'll catch you guys out on the water. Oh, fish on. Yeah, it is a good one. I think it might be a snakehead. Oh no. Oh my God. It is a snakehead. Yeah. Son, bro, oh extra God. heavy rod. You think you're gonna get away from me with an extra heavy? Dude, that's a spawner. Look at the blue on him. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. Oh my god. Yo. He is Yo, I'm on a big fish roll right now, son. Things? What things? Your, uh, the clip, the bogus. You got your bogus? Nah. Damn. I don't have bogus. Blue on him. Look at the blue on him. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Yeah, you got the whole thing. Bang. Look at that. Pretty fish. Look at that. Beautiful right fish. There. Wow, dude. I thought that was a giant bass. Guys, take a look at this beautiful. Bullseye snakehead. John's saying that he's a spawner because of the blue the spots blue, on yeah. him. Beautiful coloration. Look at the head on this guy. Torpedo, man. Huge. What a hit. At first, I thought it was a largemouth bass. Me too. But when I saw him thrash at the surface, I was like, no, it's a snakehead, man. The way that he's pulling. But yeah, I'd say he's probably about a four pounder, right? Yeah, he's all he's all a four. Four and a half. What a sick Really fish. good fish. Look at those spots, man. Beauty. Those teeth. Have you ever seen that happen to a spinnerbait? And this is a heavy duty Strike King spinnerbait right here. He literally twisted it completely sideways. Ooh. Fish boy. Look at that fish, bro. He's a football. Nice taking his eye out. Ah, oh, man. What am I doing today? You're just blinding fish all day today, bro. Oh, oh I saved good. him, dude. I'm a badass. He's good. He's good. Look at that beautiful fish, bro. He's nice. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he released himself. <laughs> On the loose. Sweet. Real. Yeah, so we're basically doing a little test. Very high end luxury reel rod combo from Luz. This tournament MB speed spool with the Luz custom stick. This is a 7.6 extra heavy. It's really a flipping stick, but it works really good for soft plastics and big oversized uh, baits like a spinner bait like that. But uh, we're doing a little comparison. You had a chaser? I just got Oh, oh, dude, I'm on. Another good bass. Nice jump, too. Nice bass, dude. No, he came off. That was a fat bass. Oh, my God. Guys, the hook popped off right on the bank. I wasn't going to make John go in there for that fish, but it was actually a good one. Throwing this big Strike King Golden. Oh, John is on. Peacock? Oh, Dude, John is on a nice peacock. Yes. On the freaking Wish Shop Baitcaster, you guys. I've never seen peas in this body of water. First for everything, right? Heck yeah, you guys. If that's the fish you want to get to test out a reel, it's got to be a peacock. These things fight super hard. Not a bad peacock either. Really um, nice colors on them. I've never seen a peacock in this league. Big bass, big bass, dude. Big bass, bro. Big bass, bro. Yes, bro. Yo, man. Woo! Oh, that's a good fish, man. That's a four. Oh, my. Okay, we got to switch it up. <laughs> or I got to catch a big one on this. Yo. Dang. Spinner bait, bro. Spinner bait. Chunk, bass, man. man. That's a nice fish. I thought you were stuck on a rock. I, like, your that's rod wasn't going like that. That's a big fish, my dude. Nice. Dude. Look at the bucket. Look at the mouth. Look at that mouth, at you guys. Bucket mouth. Got some. Got some salad in there. Look guys, at with this windstorm. Wind, bro. We're chugging. Work. <laughs> Let me show you the bucket mouth on this bass I just caught on this huge spinner bait. We're gonna go ahead and send him back in the water, but he is a chunk. He's probably every bit of four and a half pounds. Super abrasive mouth. Let's go ahead and get him in. Show him to your camera, guys. One more. Look at that, time. guys. We're letting this big boy go. Got him on the spinner bait. Yeah, man. It's not a competition today, but. 
it's a comparison. So this is good that he's catching these fish on the loose reel so he can de determine which one feels different. Look at that, dude. Wow, man, that's a good fish. Oh, he is ready to go, bro. Look at how Ooh. big that fish is. He's off. Oh, other way, bud. There you go. <laughs> what a fish, man. Dude, that is nice. awesome, dude. I love that, man. Fish on, dude. At least I had one on. I think it might have come off. Oh guy. Yeah, little guy. <laughs> Guys, another first little tiny fish of the day. I'm about ready to call it, but I know John is seriously working at completing his video, so I'm sticking through to the end with him here. And we'll see if he can catch a couple more bass. I'm already pretty satisfied. I got that monster snakehead. I got that monster bass hookup and a few other hookups in between. Really proud of today's video. It was a lot of fun we really uh we persevered man it was freaking cold it was raining all day long and you know we stuck to it we uh we didn't give up when when everything was kind of against us with the whole rain and the whole cold front and man was it ever worth it starting off the new year with a few fat fish man nothing better than that didn't bring a sweater today big mistake just in a little long sleeve t-shirt man and it's it's been killing me it's been a brutal day on me shorts little long sleeve t-shirt and pretty much getting hammered by the wind and the cold air made it back home now it has been quite the eventful day i gotta say got out of work this morning after working my 24-hour shift came home took a quick shower got in the car drove north about an hour and 20 minutes to coral springs met up with john encountered rain wind extremely cold temperatures almost didn't think we were gonna fish at all i was like i just drove over here for an hour and 20 minutes for an arby's lunch and i was like i cannot believe this is the way today is gonna go down but John and I sat down, we waited for about an hour at Arby's, the weather started to calm down quite a bit, so we were actually able to go out and do some fishing. I know I look a little orange, guys, it's just the lighting here in this room, it's a little weird, but whatever, hope it doesn't bother you. Um, so yeah, so weather started to clear up, it was so cold, so cold, extremely windy, we had like a little haze of rain, so we rolled up to the spot, John's like, you know what, there's uh, snakeheads in here, there's largemouth in here, it's a little canal. He's like, we're just gonna fish this small portion of it, see what happens. Well, I had a spinnerbait tied on, and I started throwing it around, reeling it in, popping it around, and around the second to third cast, on a point, I bump it, let it sink, I reel up some slack, and immediately I just feel like the pressure, the strike. I didn't know what it was at first, I thought it was probably a big largemouth bass, because those of you who have caught a snakehead before, you guys know the power these fish have. It wasn't until the fish got closer to the shoreline that we were on, that it started thrashing at the surface, and I was like, man, it's a big snakehead. And boy, was that a cool catch to start the year off with. Um, super psyched about that, it was a really good catch. And uh, later on, we jumped spot, started dealing with some more rain, really cold temperatures, hit up some lakes, we hit up a little golf course lake, and then we hit up a golf, another lake across the street from that, produced some fish, John caught a peacock, I caught a couple little largemouth bass, and that's when I popped that huge largemouth bass. So, awesome day for as bad as the conditions were these winter conditions are tough you know you look at the forecast the forecast says one thing you go out it turns into a totally different story and i'm sure in other places in the country it's even crazier but here in south florida it's tough to kind of gauge it there's wind there's rain it's cold there's a little bit of everything so it's kind of tough that's gonna pretty much do it for us if you guys haven't checked out our recent giveaway take a look at our last video we got an ltb giveaway on that one if you guys want to enter you can enter by going on that video and of course if you guys saw on the bottom of the screen we're doing a giveaway for this video if this video reaches 150 likes we're gonna go ahead and choose a lucky subscriber and send them something in the mail i'm gonna probably do this on a couple videos and see how you guys like it see how it does and uh, just try to give back to you guys for uh, helping me out on this whole youtube journey hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and leave a thumbs up for us it definitely shows us some big support if you're new to bite the bait fishing go ahead and subscribe and we will see you guys on the next episode peace